Yeah, we might. I'm not sure how our little setup's going to Oh, okay. So that was an example of a rebirth. That's a rebirth. So she was dead, but then she came back to life as a feral. So, yeah. Scary. Welcome back, everybody, to Rebirth and the Purge on 7 Days of Die. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, uh, I'm going to at least start the episode by building what we're going to call a mini horde base. Um, I was left a very, very good comment. Uh, all you guys' comments have been great, too, by the way, and thank you very much for leaving those. Um, but uh, it was pointed out to me that when we get those big hordes and I kill them all with the Molotovs, as effective as that is, I'm not really advancing my machine gun or axe skills. But what I am doing is I'm getting a bunch of zombie kills and raising ascension, um, which is going to kind of bite me in the ass in the long run. So the suggestion was to build a mini horde base so that I could take these guys on with my axe and or machine gun without, uh, you know, get credit for that without running away from them. Uh, if it isn't already obvious to you guys, the reason I don't typically do that, particularly with the axes, because they're just too fast, right? I've got the zomb set on sprint uh, during the day and nightmare speed at nighttime. So um, it, it's pretty much impossible for me to effectively, you know, melee them at that speed. Machine gun, I could, uh, you know, probably do a little bit better on at least during the day, but it expends so much ammo is the problem, right? So I think the solution is to indeed uh, build a little horde base here. And then when the hordes come in, we just fight them in our horde base. So even though we don't have horde knights, we'll still have a horde base for those hordes. Now, what I have in mind for the horde base is, um, no any food on me? Got the... Ratatouille, I guess we'll take that. Um, is we're going to, we're going to do a force field based base. And, um, so what that means, if you don't know what that means is we're going to put blocks around the perimeter of our enclosure that the zombies will not path on. And those are called, uh, force field blocks. Oh, I don't, they're not actually called that, but that's what everybody calls them. Um, and then it's just going to pretty much just be a kill corridor, probably with hatches. Um, <clears throat> because, you know, this isn't going to be like a, a horde night horde. They're not going to come all night. There's just going to be, you know, whatever, 40, 50 of them. We kill them and then we're done, right? Then we go on and do whatever it is we were doing before. Uh, so it'll be pretty pretty basic, you know, um, low maintenance type of base. Uh, we'll, we'll make it, of course, out of concrete and upgrade it to steel later. And, <clears throat> yeah, that's the plan. So... Um, I'm going to work on this. It's going to take quite a bit of digging. Um, and I will bring you back uh, with an update as uh, this comes together. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I went out and did some mining overnight. Got uh, another 2,000 coal and nitrate for gunpowder and some stone for cobble. Um, and I got attacked by a horde.
Oh, and also, uh, when I was editing the last episode, I realized that I had, uh, I forgot to, to get the uh, end loot chest in the school academy across the road. So here's that. Okay, so when I was mining last night, I got to the steel pickaxe. So now we can make a steel pickaxe. I went out and grabbed a couple pieces of steel because uh, we need a total of 10. And uh, let's go ahead and craft ourselves a steel pickaxe, which is really nice. So we are now graduating from using an iron pickaxe. I didn't bother to make the blue ones because I figured we'd just push on through to the steel. And... Um, that will improve our mining and block a breaking ability. Okay, so uh, when that's done, then we're going to go down and do some more work. Uh, I have 952 concrete mix and almost 3,000 cobblestone. Plus, I have uh, 46 cobblestone blocks already made up. And um, we have about 97 wood blocks in addition to what I already have uh, in place down there. So let's grab you. Um, I've got, I still have almost 2000 gunpowder. We're getting a little bit low on casings and we're completely out of lead bullet tips. So we're going to have to go mine some lead, which I'll probably do uh, tonight. Let's put this in here. Oh, I also have um, enough fragments to make a melee expertise book. So let's um, do that. Uh, we want axes, of course. All right, and then uh, what we want to do is we want to go to skills and crafting skills and to um, axes and see that we are currently um, at, oh, no, sorry, wrong place. We want to actually go to our class. Um, the, you, you go here to see the progress to the next level of tool, but for class stuff, you actually want to go to your class and look at it here. Uh, this progress here is what this is going to affect. So we're 16.71% on the way to level two in axes. And this will give us a 10% boost, as it says right there. And then if we go back to here, we can now see that we're 26.71%. So that's a beautiful thing. Um, I have, yeah, I've got one ranged expertise book in here. And then we have this half of a thug melee book here that... Um, I don't think I can do anything with this. I think uh, if I would have, before I made this, if I would have, I, I could have scrapped the previous parts to that and made something else. But once I made it, I kind of screwed myself. So that's all right, though. Not a big deal. All right, let's go on down here. Oh, I want to also do something else. I got a comment saying that in Rebirth, you can only jump onto hay bales 10 blocks high safely. And um, this is 20 blocks high. I did put this together a few episodes ago, uh, but we are 20 blocks up and we can jump down with now without any issues. And I've used it multiple times. So, uh, but if you go above 20 blocks, then, then it starts causing problems. The setup here is going to be um, a, just a very simple killing corridor. Um, this will be the entrance on this end, and then on this end I'll have uh, a little bit of a ladder to go up and then jump out onto the hay bales to escape if we get overrun, uh, which probably won't happen, but, you know, you never know, especially since this is Rebirth. And what we're going to do is it's going to be two blocks wide, uh, and it probably doesn't even need to be two blocks wide, but I'm going to do it that way anyway just to be on the safe side. Um, and then this will be the quarter, and I'll probably just use hatches. Um, you know, uh, as they come down the corridor. And once we get electric fences, we already have a generator. Um, we could also add some electric fences to it, too, to make it even more effective. And then on the outside here, uh, we want to actually go... Yeah, I, I need to go one more block out on both sides because I want this to be two wide and three deep. And then we will fill that with uh, force field blocks. And that means the zombies will theoretically stay away from the sides of our base and won't try and, you know, get at us from the sides or the back. They'll only come through the front, which is what we want them to do. That's the theory anyway. So we'll, we'll see how that, that comes together. But even if that doesn't work, that's the other reason why I'm making it two blocks wide. So that way we have, you know, two block thick walls that'll, that'll start off as concrete and will later on, you know, upgrade to steel. And, you know, we're only talking about the wandering hordes. As big as they are, they're still not like, you know, a blood moon horde. 
And uh, this should work. I, I, I'm pretty sure it will. And the only thing that we might have a, a little bit of an issue with is the really tall zomb zombos. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to figure that one out. But what we could possibly do, if we do have, you know, like a boss zombo, we could kill all the little guys first so we only have the boss zombo left, and then we could go out and, you know, deal with the boss zombo separately. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll figure that out. Um... Or I make the corridor three blocks high so the boss zombo can come through it. But then that that gets a little tricky, too. So I think what we'll do is we'll design it. Hmm. If we did three blocks high, I could also put hatches on top, too. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that a little bit more. We'll We'll see. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to have to widen this one more block on both both sides there. But let's go ahead um, and start upgrading this. I probably will not have enough material to do the whole thing right now, but we'll get as much of it done as we can. And then, you know, go continue farming up the rest of the materials as needed. For this front part, too... Um, what I want to do is make sure the ground is nice and flat here. And we'll probably put down a row of sheets just so it's a nice smooth uh, transition. Uh, so I want to go here and here. Let's just do it this way. So we'll choose sheet. And if we go on face... No, that's not working. What if we do it on face to this? You're going to be an asshole, aren't you? Uh, what does copy rotation do? All right, well, we'll do advanced rotation then. There we go. That wasn't that big of a deal. Oh, actually, no. We want force field blocks here, too. We only want a path to go this way. So that actually means... Before I put those down, let's dig this. Yeah, let's dig this out here. Um, right. Okay. So we got to go two blocks out all the way around anyway. Nixter, come here. And we're going to need to go one more block this way. Okay, and then um, from here, I want, I think I just want two of those, but let's do three. And then we'll just go back to, here, we'll just do it this way. There, and then, uh, I know I can tell him to stay put, and I might end up actually doing that. Uh, okay, so that'll be kind of like a little bridge coming through. And then, yeah, actually, we only want one of these. I don't know what I was thinking. And then this will go down here. Oh, I see what's going on there. It it was just part of it was hidden underneath the grass. It looked like it was only putting half of it down. Right, okay. And we're already... Uh, where's my regular box? Okay, so we're already too wide on this side. I just got to dig this out uh, one more, too, and then we'll go three down. Uh, but before we get started with that, let's get all of this first uh, platform upgraded here. Oh, that was a big stutter. Oh, yep, there we go. Okay, let's get them away from here because I don't want them tearing up what we're trying to build. Yowzers! Okay, I'm going to try and, I mean, we got almost a thousand rounds. So let's go ahead and try and use our gun to get points. Whoops. Isn't this dude supposed to have an icon over his head or does that, does it not do that in the purge?
nice that Nick's keeping the boss occupied while we deal with these guys. And his health is doing okay. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Very nice. Got a few more stragglers here. Yeah, we might. I'm not sure how our little setup's going to work. Oh, okay. So that was an example of a rebirth. That's a rebirth. So she was dead, but then she came back to life as a feral. So, yeah. Scary. <laughs> and we just, what do we do? Just level? That has happened once or twice before, but I didn't realize it at the time that that's what was actually happening. But now I know, because I'm smarter than I was before. Okay, so that takes care of that horde for now. I gotta tell you, man, Nick and in my other playthrough, Goldie, which is my golden, uh, my, uh, uh, oh shit, I can't think of what that dog is. Not, it's not a golden lab, it's a golden retriever. Yeah, sorry. Um, Goldie, these, they're so useful. So, so useful. Um, all right. Anyway, back to this. Let's, uh, yeah, let's start getting this upgraded. By the way, we did get an ammo thing, but I'll open that up upstairs, and we'll also do this strength boost later on, too, uh, with our injector. <clears throat> so we're upgrading this all to concrete. All right, that gets that taken per, uh, care of. So uh, now what we want to do is um, let's go up here. And we want this to be, uh, maybe we'll make it four high. Okay, we're out of boards. Um, well, let's grab two of these. And we're going to make these uh, just ladders. Um, make them scaffolding ladders. Okay. Um, I might make this a little higher too. I don't know. We'll see. Let's run over here and get some water. Um, oh wait, no, we got to go to the school for that. Right. Do I have more gasoline in here? Uh, what am I looking for with this? Yeah, I do. Okay. Got to go do some more wrenching. Drink two of these. Did we have a... Um, I don't think we had a vending machine over at the car wash, did we? Have I busted open this ATM? Remember, it's been a week since I've played on this save. Yeah, I have. Okay. I have three vending machines like right next to each other in my other playthrough so I think that's probably what I was thinking about all right okay so let's go make some more boards so we can keep upgrading we gotta uh that's right we gotta put gasoline in those I don't have any extra gas either so that means I gotta go do a bunch of salvaging as well Ah, uh, nuts. Okay. 
Well, um, tell you what we can do. Um, let's go down and we can put some of the the cobblestone blocks in place. And I also need to, you know, dig this out some more too. Actually, I think I'm going to do that first. Okay, now we want to go three down. That broke our shovel. And we can now make an orange shovel. I see no reason not to. So let's go do that. And of course we need a wood plank, which we can't make. I think, okay, I think that's all we're going to do for building today. Uh, it'll, it'll probably take me, you know, a, a couple episodes to fully build this, and I'm going to do some of it off camera too, but um, I just wanted to do some of it on camera so you guys saw, you know, what the deal was, right? Uh, let's go ahead and make 50 more rounds of 762. Compliments of that boss. And let's also, uh, you know what, I'm going to actually repair this right now because it'll burn a, a duct tape but we may still need it for some other things give ourselves a strength boost our strength currently is 77.8 And now it is 87.22. Very nice. And uh, I'm going to start focusing on buying some perk books too. They're just, they're so expensive, but you know, we'll, we'll get there. We will get there. Uh, I spend a great deal of my money on, um, you know, water and We'll, we'll be able to stop doing that, you know, once we can find the distiller. Okay, let's take another one of those. And let's go out and do a perch. So, you know what I would like to do, though, is find a... Find a hardware store? I mean, I don't know. Would we have a chance of finding a distiller in a hardware store I don't really know the answer to that where's my mini bike it's over here what are you doing Nick sound like you took a swing at my police car you know what we could do can we siphon the gas back out of here because I mean I'm not even using this until we can make gas in quantity Oh, we can. Okay. That was handy. Um. Then, in that case, I'm going to run back up really quick and put a little bit of this in the table saw so I don't forget and then, you know, burn it all up. Okay, I don't know how much this table saw will use, so let's just put... Let's put a hundred in there. Oh, that's 33 minutes. Oh, that's a lot of time actually. Uh, yeah. Okay. We'll go with that. Nice. Okay. So we're pretty comfortable with tier threes now. Um, so let's go see if we can find a tier three or a tier two. It might have a chance of getting us a, uh, a distiller, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, what uses distillers? People that make whiskey use distillers. Medical could potentially have a distiller. I don't think a grocery store really would, necessarily. There's a working stiffs here. Yeah, why don't we do this working stiffs?
This is probably a tier three. Yeah, it's a tier three. Okay. Uh, let's check these grills. There's some meat. And another propane tank. Nice. Another grill. We need that charcoal to make charcoal powder stuff in order to... See, this is why I wanted to fix the shovel so we can get more cement. In order to uh, make dis distilled water. I thought I heard something. All right, let's grab this. This is probably nitrate, right? Well, it's nitrate and wood, so I guess it's worth getting. Let's check this. A little bit of gasoline. All right, looks like that's all we can do on that side. Let's check these dumpsters. It's a bicycle wheel. And we have a truck back here and a car. This truck is not lootable. Door's locked. Get some nails out of there. All right, that's probably locked too, right? Okay. All right. What is this place here? This looks like a drive-in or something. It's roosters. Yeah, it's a that's a drive-in. I don't think roosters would have a distiller. I mean, who knows? Who knows how these things work? Oh, I was gonna go exchange that ammo, but we'll probably get some more ports all said and done. Uh we need to go to catch a chicken too and build a coop. Well, can we do that? I can't remember if we can. Oh shit, that scared me. More meat for us. Okay, let's do this. Twenty three estimated enemies. Grab this wood. There he goes. Go get him, Nick. Now, one thing to know, in case you guys didn't know this, is if your dog gets the kill, then you don't get, you know, the, well, you don't get the maximum XP for it. So that's important to know. It's another propane tank. Nice. And another. <laughs> okay, I need a saw blade. Okay. I need to come into this place. In fact, I'm going to come into this place in my next uh, next recording of the normal playthrough because uh, we need some stuff from here for sure. All right, I'm going to leave cash registers 
and that sort of thing for later. I will come back. Uh, I will, at least I'll plan to come back and grab them, you know, for selling. But I just, you know, right now, I don't want to... I don't want to mess with it right now, just so we don't get super loaded down. Let's just get the place cleared first. Man, look at all the anvils we're finding. Crazy. Crazy in a good way. All right, we're not really supposed to go in there until the, until the end. Got a repair kit and a bellows. Ramsey's tool stores are a hell of a lot more generous than fucking vanilla tool stores. They're such a disappointment, man. You go in there and you get like a bunch of lockpicks, which is okay, but that's all you get, <laughs> seems like, you know? Speaking of which, I need to make some lockpicks. You guys keep telling me, oh, that was a nice find. This thing's over 500 bucks to buy it in the vending machine. Um, Yeah, you guys keep telling me in the comments to make lockpicks, and I, I agree. I need to, but I just don't think about it. Uh, wiring tool. Oh shit! I just crashed. Oh no! That's I think that's the first time I've crashed on Rebirth. Oh okay. Let me start it back up. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Um, hopefully that doesn't happen a lot. It hasn't actually happened a lot. Like I said, I think. That's the very first crash that I've had in Rebirth. Um, yeah, so weird. Okay. Nick, let's give you some stuff. Look at all these hammers and <laughs> tools and stuff we're getting here. Um, excuse me, we'll probably end up selling most of that. In fact, you know what? Let's just take this back out and put it some of this stuff in the bike here. Oh, we're already completely f full. All right, we don't need that. And is this going to make us thirsty? Yeah. Uh, I don't think I'm going to take that. These, let's just eat those now. We don't get dysentery, right? No. To free up the spot, right? And I guess I'm, I'm a little damaged. We must have gotten hit a couple of times. So we'll take that to free up another spot and heal ourselves. And yeah, I guess we're good. All right, let's go. I can, you know, shovel all that stuff later. Well, shit, man, this is a place to come for anvils <laughs> and saw blades and hammers and all of it. You know, hardware store, right? Of course. All right. I guess that's it for looting these shelves. Uh, yeah, let's check all these toilets for water and stuff. And diapers. Yeah. We'll get the... I'll come back and get the computers and the, the registers and all that later. Do we have any brass fittings? Yes, we do. Can I pick that up? Uh-uh. If I, I don't think I can wrench this. I think it'll just, yeah, it's just going to break it like the pick would. So, all right. Yeah, that gave us 35 brass. That gave us more. That's nice. Okay. I'm still encumbered as hell. 
So let's find a storage container. How much? Uh, there's only like four slots in those. Okay, let's just use these dumpsters. Man, look at all that stuff. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Now we can move. Does this work? It does not. But what that does mean is steal for us. Get him, Nick. Oh, I was, I was just about ready to shoot, and Nick got him. Okay. That's not a lootable medicine cabinet, unfortunately. Okay, yeah, I'll come back and wrench this, and we'll get some steel. Most likely get some steel from it. Not lootable. Damn it, Jim. Okay, we're going to get some action in here. Take that. A bit of coffee there. Cat food. Taters, precious. What's taters, precious? What's taters, eh? Mash them, boil them, stick them in a stew. You're pathetic. <laughs> I know, that was terrible. I did a terrible impersonation of Lord of the Rings, but uh, I try. Okay. Uh, let's loot all of, of this stuff. Just have to go out on the roof to clear the rest of the dudes. Um, here we go. Okay, more stuff for building our mini horde base. That doesn't suck. Same-o, same-o. Nice, 10 relays. Okay. Let's check all of these trash thingies. Check all of that. And now we need to turn this valve off. And I think this valve is like really strong. Let's see. Yeah, see, that's a 7,000 hit point ball valve. I'm not going to take that apart. Or a few thingies of brass. Not going to happen, man. Not going to happen. Oh. Oh, he's got a buffer. All right, here. Oh, shit! <laughs> Alright, we gotta find uh, the buffer. There he is. Gotta 
kill him first. If we can. There he is. Okay, he's dead. No more bus for you, assholes. All right. We have one more active entity. There you are. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. I don't know why. It just was. All right. Eight entities left. Ooh, we got all these. We can come up here and wrench for brass, too. That is a good deal. This tent is, is, is that, um, that must be an out, uh, or, or not an alpha, but a one, one dot one thing. Okay. We got two dots running around. take that because we're infectinated and we also have an abrasion uh, don't have a small medical kit I don't why oh yeah it's, it's because of the abrasion all right let's just take a big medic kit I was gonna say why is my health cap down a little bit but because usually that's because of either food or water oh Yeah, this tent business is is new. Um, all right, where are you at? What is that noise? What is that? Is that Larry the Lumberjack? I don't know. All right, let's check this stuff. And we got our medical kit back. Nice. Oh, so the loot's in here now. I thought it used to be like up in the roof, right? All right, let's pick this up. I think we get the blue barrel from it, right? Where the hell that guy at? Okay. Did we get everything out of here? Uh, besides, you know, just resource stuff? Uh, no, we got to do this. Right. Okay. That chest is not lootable. Okay. Should have made some lock picks. <laughs> this won't take too long, though, with the steel pick. All right. What do we have? Enforcer glasses. Does that give us... No, that would give us some barter stuff if we were 
in vanilla, but we're not, so it doesn't. That's unfortunate. It is what it is. Okay, so I guess we no longer go down and walk around on in the roof in this new POI. This is the first time I've been in this POI in one you know one dot one or one dot oh. So that's why I'm not real familiar with it. Here, let's go over here for a second. Well, actually, we'll go here. How come you haven't broken that door yet, Granny? Here, come over here and break this door. I think that uh, Nick got her. Oh, airdrop. There it is. Nice. Okay, let's go get that. We'll come back and get the rest of the stuff later. Okay, we're going to have a fight. Let's just wait here. I want to keep those. Okay. Just making sure I'm not encumbered is all. Get ready, Nick. Got knocked on her ass there. Where are you guys going? Him, Nick. Are these are these sleepers that were in there? I bet the I bet you they are. They're probably not part of the original group. Okay, I think that's it. Let's see what we get. Nick, stay on guard just in case. Oh shit! Nick, get him. Yeah, let's get this thing opened up before something else comes. We are fatigued. Look at all that stuff. All right. Very nice. Um, A genetics experience... Increased genetic experience by 2%. That's a chess piece. Okay. Uh, let's put that in our chest. We'll take that. Repairable dew collector. We, we can use that for our farm. And then uh, we got a yucca juice, a weapons parts bundle, and a ranged mods bundle. This will be, we can use that to help, you know, make our next M M60. These are lumberjack boots, which we'll probably just sell. We got two charisma DNA boosts, which is nice, and then some some food items too. Really good. What's uh, okay? Why am I? Uh, I think it's because I'm fatigued. All right, I tell you what though, 
What I'd like to do is go back to the base before we pop a vitamin. And then that way we can drink some boiled water to take care of our hydration. And, you know, save the distilled stuff for later. And then I will go back, you know, to that hardware store off camera and get all of the shit. Figure out what I want to keep. And then the rest of it will just sell. Make a little bit of bank. But we still have not found a distiller. Uh, where am I at? Okay, I just need to go this way, yeah. Okay, um, let's do this. And let's go back down here for a second. What is this? This is melee. Okay, so we'll put that there. And we'll put these mods in here. That I'm just going to sell to the trader. Let's let's do our boosts first. Right now we are at 73 charisma. And that got us to 91.9. I think, uh, you know, once we we get 100% there, we're going to probably buy the Charismatic Nature book uh, because I would, would like to have some more followers. So this will allow us to hire one survivor and use the dog. Um, I'm going to take the vit... Well, actually, how much boiled water do I have? That's murky. We have six. Okay. Let's take the vitamin to deal with our fatigue. And it looks like we're infected again, too. And then we will drink... How much do we get? We get 15, so that's 30, 60. Yeah, let's just drink four of these. How much water does this give us? 10. Okay, let's take that because that's going to heal us and give us water and give us food. So we get kind of a triple benefit from that. And then I'm going to take and put the honey down here. And let's take that to deal with the infection. And that should fix us up. Okay. Make a few more bullet casings from this brass. Keep empty cans up there. Drinks go in there. Um, what do we need to make this do collector? Uh, we just need three rope and some iron pipe. I think my iron pipe is in here. And for rope, we just need grass. And we need our toolbox to make the dew collector. Or repair it, I should say. Now what am I missing? Oh, we need five pipe, not three. Sorry. My bad. And then we'll put that up on top, and then we we can put our crops around it, and it'll take care of watering the crops. Now we also still need to worry about temperature and light, and as time goes on, I'll, I'll keep working on stuff like that. Um, But yeah, very good. These two things, like I said, we're going to sell. Okay, let's see what's in our bundles here. Ranged mod bundle. Okay, we got some ranged mods. And if we open this twice, it gives us 
stuff for making parts. Now, um, if we take a look at our M60, see, we're 43% of the way to level three. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna wait till we get to level three to, to yellow before we make another one of these. So that way we'll have, uh, we should have an extra mod slot with the yellow, the yellow one. Um, I don't want to spend the parts to make the orange one just to turn around in, uh, you know, 58% from now ish, a little less than that, uh, you know, then have a yellow one. I would do that if I knew the orange one gave us another mod slot, but I don't think that it does. Okay. So guys, I think that's going to wrap things up here. I will go back to the Harbor store, get the rest of the loot and, you know, probably pick up anything that's super valuable for selling and maybe do a little bit of resource gathering. There's a lot of good stuff at that store, but I'll do all that stuff off camera, build up more resources so we can continue our, our little horde base build down there. Obviously we want to get that going as soon as possible um, so that we can, you know, fight the hordes there. I still have a lot of work to do up here too. You know, we'll get to it as we get to it. And um, the, the main thing that we have to do, and you guys have asked me this in the comments, you know, your the basic comment has, how in the hell are you... <laughs> We've got like 542 POIs to clear. Um, I, I, I don't know the answer to that, guys. I, I, I'm going to keep doing it, and we'll, you know, we'll see how it goes. And if it starts to get like it's just too much, uh, one option is that I do the, the smaller ones and especially the vanilla ones that you guys have all already probably seen off camera. Um, but then that takes my own time too, so... You know, Ramsey and I talked about this a little bit too, and he suggested maybe considering, you know, doing a more reasonable number and then just spawning in the protection to move on to the desert. So that is an option too. We're going to leave that open just because of the fact that, you know, after a point in time, it's going to get tedious for all of us, me included, you know, with this many POIs to, uh, to clear. Uh, the one thing I will say to you, if you have not started a purge and you're thinking about doing it, um, do a smaller map. You know, don't do an 8K map, uh, 8K map like I did, unless you really want to be in it for the long haul, in which case, you know, knock yourself out, right? Uh, but that's the thing. And I just didn't know that when I first started this series that, you know, that, that I should have used a smaller map. Okay, so with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.